when you want to create and, and accelerate an opportunity towards achieving a goal, you can build a pathway and look for ways that you can leap to the end. They do exist. They're very hard to find. They're very hard to execute. Um, but if you at least set out looking for them and find them and take shots with them, um, you will see potentially that you quantum leap right to the success that you thought was going to take a few years in a few months. It is possible. Welcome to Build with Rob. It is Rob Deerdeck. You know what it is. I'm out here manufacturing amazing, living a harmonious, high quality life with my machine mindset. Uh, and look, I just ended up here through a lot of hard work, clear plans, a big vision, implementing a ton of strategies, taking risks, failing along the way and learning to get here. Um, but there was also periods in my life where I just jumped to complete new levels, like jumped to complete new levels. And, and I would later find out um, that this sort of process of taking a leap to an entirely new level um, is referred to as the quantum leap theory. And, and it was actually introduced to me by my wife. We were on vacation and she handed me this like 48 page booklet called the quantum leap strategy uh, written by Dr. Price Pritchett. And it's, it's essentially uh, the concept that, you know, you can create plans, create strategies, but you can also look for ways uh, to jump right past um, your entire plan uh, to success or uh, to meeting that goal in different ways than you, than you realize, you know, and for me, you know, some, some examples of, of big quantum leaps in my life was, you know, a signature shoe. You know, when I went from being a regular skateboarder to then having a signature shoe, like, boom, now all of a sudden my entire life took a quantum leap. I'm now going from making 50000 to 300000 you know. Um, I think one of the bigger quantum leaps in my life was um, from being a regular pro skateboarder to being uh, on television. You know, Robin Big was a huge quantum leap in in my life. Like, all of a sudden I am now on this this complete, um, higher level, uh, in a very short amount of time, you know, and, and there's so many different ways that you can begin to look at, uh, your life, your business, your goals, and what are ways that, that you could take a risk or take a shot that could get you to a complete other level in a much shorter amount of time. That is the the concept of what a what a quantum leap can be. And and to me, you know, most people just create a plan, create a strategy, set goals, and and take risks and give it all they got and go for it uh, in order to get to that that next level. And hopefully, you get lucky along the way and something accelerates that. But I'm here to tell you, you can hunt um, those quantum leaps and really everything that you do. Uh, every time you create a goal, you should be thinking about how could I actually do something that may accelerate uh, my path to achieve this and take a quantum leap to get there, you know? Um, and, and I actually had the the honor of spending time with the great Price Pritchett, um, you know, the, the gentleman who wrote uh, the quantum leap strategy. My, my wife had suggested to me uh, that we do a uh, little couple's getaway, okay? She said, you know, let's do a couple's growth weekend. And so she presented me that that uh, Price Pritchett was doing a weekend seminar, I thought it was, where you could uh, essentially be trained as a quantum leap uh, U squared, uh, which is the name of their, their other... Uh, sort of uh, teaching class and version U squared and the quantum leap strategy, but you could be certified as a coach. You could get certified as a coach. I thought to myself, well, what a wonderful couples weekend. Let's go out there and, and enjoy uh, a nice little get together of like-minded people trying to elevate and accelerate their growth and, 
uh, let's enjoy a weekend in Dallas, Texas, and 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 learn from the man who created the quantum leap strategy, right? Um, and of course, I thought you know this would be one of those type of events where there was like you know a few hundred people, um, you know, all being sort of uh, taught, you know, in in a group setting and a and a big setup or whatever, and. And so we plan the whole trip. We're going to go out there, couple's trip of growth, uh, Dallas, Texas, quantum leap strategy. Um, and, and then I got the price tag. I got the price tag back. I got the price tag back. It was 10 G's per person. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. Then that means there's going to be like three of us. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, okay, like, forget. It made me um, 10 times as excited, okay? Because I knew already, like, look, the quantum leap strategy is relatively obscure. Um, you know, I know of price and and my wife knows of price, but nobody else I know does. And I'm like, if this thing is is $10,000 for two days, then there's literally going to be, like, three or four of us there, you know, like there's not going to be like, you know, 50 or 60 people lining up to pay pay 10 G's to be quantum leap strategy certified. You know what I mean? And, and, and as was the case, um, you know, we arrived in Dallas, Texas, there was my wife and uh, me and three other people that were going to be in this immersive, um, you know, a training session to be certified as official coaches of the quantum leap strategy uh, from Dr. Price Pritchett himself, you know, and it, it was amazing. You know, it was an amazing experience. Like he's an amazing guy. He's 80 years old. Um, you know, and he, he writes all of these, um, you know, really small books, you know, the quantum leap strategy book is only 40 pages. Uh, it's kind of like his mastery of distilling down these really big ideas and concepts into these very short formed books that are, um, you know, basically a page and a half per chapter. And and there and there we have it. We got to learn it directly from the man because the the debate, you know, I, I between me and my wife, there was a debate. It was like ultimately, you know, what. What is the quantum leap strategy? Like in, in my mind, it was like you have super clear plans and definitive sort of strategy. And then you look for ways to accelerate that. What could you do to jump in front of that? You know, you build, you have a company concept, you have a product idea, and now you have a plan to bring it to market and grow the business over time. I looked at it like, what is something that you could do? Um, you know, in the case of business, a big marketing event, you know, a a, a single uh, moment in time, you're on Oprah's list, you know, a uh, celebrity wears it and, and accelerates your business overnight to meet its financial goals based off of sort of the strategy and the plan that you created. And, and that is a really good example of, of what can happen uh, to a business from a quantum leap standpoint. But, but my, my wife's version was that like you don't even have to know where you're going um you just take shots and have faith that it's going to take you to a complete other level and 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 after spending you know time with the man that actually created it um i think it was clear that it that uh, a quantum leap can happen in many different ways you know like it's not just isolated as 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 you have to jump towards a plan that you have and it's not as uh, willy-nilly as you don't even got to know where you're headed you just got to try things and all of a sudden you can end up on a on another level right it's 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 somewhere in the middle but both are deeply applicable right because you you got to assess for a handful of different things if you want to jump to one of these next levels right like you have to um, be able to identify and put a target on what that would actually be. You know, like, um, you can't just, um, you know, as I say in the non-action phase of hoping and wishing, you know what I mean? You're not going to get anything done by hoping and wishing, but if you put a target, um, on, on something that you want to create, I want to be a YouTube star. I want to be a TV star. Now think about it. You want to be a TV star 
Like, then the only way to take a quantum leap into being a TV star is to either become an actor or, or come build a reel and start pitching yourself to television networks. You want to become a YouTube star? Uh, all you got to do is put together your content, upload it, and begin the process. And now the quantum leap is is you trying to go viral that now takes you to a complete other level and now puts you in that position uh, that you desired from the very beginning, you know? And, and, and the thing about it is, is, is I'm not trying to suggest there's any right way to do it, but it, it, it is something that I think everybody should put um, inside their mind and inside their overall strategy when they're setting uh, goals and creating things that they want to achieve. Like always be looking for what is a path that could accelerate this entire thing or what are different opportunities that could take me to an entire different level. And, and you got to think about it. If you have a business, you know, if you have a business, you know, it it's sometimes not about uh, a marketing moment. Um, you know, like I'm saying, a big celebrity wearing the product or using the product and ending up somewhere, you know, one of the big ones, you know, I mentioned Oprah's list, you know, like there's so many stories of like, you know, and like at the heyday of Oprah, you end up in like Oprah's like, like Christmas list and you go from like, you know, 500,000 in sales to 10 million in sales, right? That is pure quantum leap. But sometimes it's, it's how you even look at your product strategy. Right, where where you've built a brand and 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 have a platform and a and a core value and core customers that believe in in what you stand for and, and the service you're trying to do, but it, you know sometimes you can see an opportunity to take that core value and apply it to a product that has a much larger market and potential velocity uh, and bring a new product to market that's a quantum leap for your business. You know, I think. You know, for uh, outstanding foods, it was the the pigless pork rind. You know, it really accelerated and took the business to an entire different level when it when it created the product. You know, and and I think for us, you know, it, at Mindright, we got a new product coming out that I think is 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 taking a quantum leap into a bigger category using the same core principles. Um, that the service of what the product serves a, a, in the first place. I think even with Lusso, uh, in, in the way we're looking at the footwear space, like we're designing different pieces of footwear uh, that are unique and have potential to be a quantum leap in themselves, right? And, and, and I think anything, you know, that you do and, and hope to achieve, once you're setting off on the journey, always looking at what are the big things that can take you to a complete level, a complete new level. And, and, and even for me, when I think about sort of like my continual sort of elevation and, and, and evolution of who I am from a personal brand standpoint, even doing uh, this show it is a bit of a quantum leap in the sense that like now all of this contents that that's created and shared, shared across multiple platforms, it's now... Um, you know, really change the way that people understand my voice and philosophy from listening to this show and seeing the content. And ironically enough, like this it, it, entire process of evolving into um, the machine mindset and what it became happened because of that weekend uh, that I spent in Dallas, Texas with Price Pritchett, you know, um, after we had spent some time together, you know what I mean? I think it was it was pretty clear that I had um, elevated to a, a, a certain level and done so had so many significant quantum leaps that I was, you know, very much somebody that lived his philosophy in a very real way. And we got to becoming um, pretty close. And ultimately, you know, we were talking about how could we potentially partner together. And he had suggested, you know, uh, partnering with, you know, going beyond my coach certification, uh, but promoting and pushing sort of um, their overall philosophy and the way to teach it to others and being partners in their program. Now, uh, you know how I roll in it. That's like, well, I can't do that uh, because, you know, I'm going to create my own philosophy. 
But in true quantum leap nature, I said to to Price, I said, you know, a, a quantum leap for me would be to have my own book sharing my philosophy. Would you be open to creating a book together? And and he was like, he's like pure Texas, man. He's like, man, I like that, man. Let's do that. Let's make it happen. You know what I mean? He's all about the action. And so we set off on a journey to create a book together. And it was it was going to be initially, you know, in the same sort of format um, that that he has created in these sort of, you know, little little mini booklets, if you will. And man, I, I'm man, I, I really it changed. It really changed my life because I had I had been sort of developing all my qualitative and quantitative data and and tracking and really, uh, you know, creating this automated existence and and really everything that I had been um, developing and living over the years. I just had never really began to think through how that sounds and is articulated in a shareable, potentially teachable way. And it really began the process for me of developing um, my overall philosophy. And it it immediately opened like my mind and then really drove me into developing the entire philosophy that is the machine mindset. Because as we were working on that booklet, man, now I'm going. I'm like, no, life is a series of interconnected systems and these systems integrate together to make your life as a whole. It's like, you know, I remember we were in the middle of making the book and things were just getting out of control because I was just getting deeper and deeper. And then I'm like, man, I can't make this a booklet. This has got to be a New York Times bestseller. Like my vision for it now is like, like shooting over the mark of even what we had even agreed to in, in the initial phase. And then it's like, when I was like, I got it. This is what it is. It's the machine mindset, systematically fusing art, science, and magic to manufacture your destiny. Man, Rob, this is too big for me, man. This ain't a book. This ain't a book, man. You were doing this is your book. This is your philosophy, man. I I can't do this with you anymore. This ain't for me, man. You need to you need to hire somebody else to make you write this. This ain't a price and rob deal. This is just your deal. And although it started out as this sort of quantum leap of doing a booklet to like uh, work together, coming straight out of the quantum leap weekend. Um, once I evolved it into what is now, you know, deeply my personal philosophy, it was really clear that like, Hey, no, this is, um, very much your own philosophy and the way that you want to approach the world and how you look at it. And this is m- served much better for you to go and develop this rather than try to, uh, develop this together, which I'm very thankful to him for, for really recognizing, you know what I mean? And, and, and it began pushing me off into, um, um, the journey that I um, am realizing today, right? Because you got to think if this sort of um, podcast and this platform and this format allows me to begin to share sort of my philosophy and, and articulate it and and begin to build an audience of, of like-minded um, growth mindset individuals who, who want to sort of learn from what I've been able to kind of develop to to achieve the the harmonious high quality existence that I have, you know it 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 started from what initially was like oh if I a book for me would be the next level and a quantum leap for me and and I still think that's the case, um, but again it drove me to do something at a much slower more patient level because I want to create something that is a timeless piece that can be looked back and read read like science of of getting rich or think and grow rich these books that last a hundred years you know is sort of um the intent of what i i want to build and create behind it you know and 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 again you know just because i took this shot and it it didn't turn into what i expected it still opened up another level and an entirely new chapter in my existence. It pushed me into this sort of new way of thinking about how I wanted to evolve into sharing my mindset. Up up until that point, I just hadn't considered it, you know? And, and this idea that, you know, every time you take a shot, 
um, it's going to propel and push you to the next level isn't always the case. You know what I mean? But you're going to, um, when you take these shots to try to get to another level, you're going to learn so much and in, a, in an accelerated way. And every now and again, they're going to hit and boom, you're going to be on another level, you know, and, and, and seeing, you know, what happened to my life with television is the, is the best example of that, you know, cause when I was first asked to do a television show, I said, I just didn't have time, you know, and, and the truth was, you know, I didn't have time because I didn't understand like what value it ultimately created, um, for my long-term vision of what I was hoping to achieve, you know, and, and I'm glad that I began to look at it more from like, okay, what if you look at it more from the lens of this is now a platform that could help accelerate, uh, you know, all of your signature products and the companies that you want to create. And and I think when that shift in my mind really happened, um, it, it changed sort of the approach to the, the potential of what could happen if I got on television and it worked now, boy, I never, never could have expected how fast it would have worked and and what it would have been like um for me soon after it happened because it was you know as soon as robin big came out it was like instantly you were i you know i was recognized everywhere and it became this entirely new energy and everything that i was working on now had this much higher awareness and my ability to to um connect with different people on higher levels and, and really raise all aspects of my, uh, business life in that time all happened in a, in a very short period. And then I was now on this new level that I continued uh, to maximize, right? It was like then seeing, okay, well, look what Robin Big did from a business standpoint, you should take this exact same concept and, and, and create it more around your businesses and really use this platform to accelerate all of the different companies that you're creating. And that's what led to creating Fantasy Factory. And, and of course, uh, both of those shows were incredibly difficult, but what I was receiving off of uh, the platform of television, I wanted to continue, which led to me uh, creating ridiculousness, you know, and, and, you know, even years later, when you think about, you know, building the machine and having a vision of, of, you know, building and selling, uh, 30 to 50 companies, the, the first, you know, I had to sell a company, uh, before that dream could even be validated and, and really using the television platform to then create and build and sell super jacket, uh, to be the quantum leap inside the deer deck machine is another sort of aspect of how all these things have layered together to continue to push me to another level and, and, and not on all the time they're, they're going to work and they're going to be, you're going to think like, this is brilliant and you're going to go and do it and it's not going to work. You know, when I am, it had initially launched, um, the deer deck machine in 2016, I was like, I'm going to, you know, really take another quantum leap by creating a business television show. And I created a show called funded for NBC. That was going to be basically my quantum leap into the business world, you know, and, and, um, you know, man, so much time, effort and energy uh, you know, conceptually, the show was essentially, you know, you're going to um, the business show was three different businesses that were in the similar industry in this particular uh, pilot episode that we shot. It was uh, mobility, um, scooter, a um, electric skateboard, an electric bike, all competing in the last mile category. And each of the three businesses competed and the winner got a million dollars in funding. Uh, I was part of a group uh, that were partners in Angel City Ventures and, and um, shot this amazing pilot 
for NBC, and this was it. This is just the beginning. I pushed through all of that. You know, I got really deep. You know, I actually ended up developing a fund and was going to be the person that ran and owned the rights to the fund that would fund all the business in the show. I diligenced all of the, the contestants, signed term sheets to all of them, you know, spent 100 Gs to develop the entire a uh, program that essentially also gave me the rights to fund in uh, all of the, the contestants for all formats worldwide in perpetuity. Some of my best work as it relates to integrating in my business and um, my television and entertainment mind into one world. Uh, only that pilot was shot and it was not picked up. So not only was it going to be this like amazing quantum leap into the future, but but it really ended up being a lot of time and energy and a shot that I don't regret. But it 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 fed me a lot of information. You know, I I really really thought to myself like, okay, you're you're trying to be the business brand without um, because you now have launched your venture studio, uh, so you think you're ready. Uh, to share your business knowledge when you still have so much to learn and go out and, and create that business success before you start talking about it. And it really showed me that I don't want to be a fund manager. You know, I don't really want to manage other people's money um, and and be a fund manager. Now, um, you know, if, if that pilot would have been picked up and that would have been uh, ended up on series, who knows uh, what my life would be like. <laughs> I would probably be, I would probably have like a $200 million fund right now. And I would, I would probably be a fund manager. So I'm, I'm thankful um, that it didn't happen, but you just have to understand that when you want to create and, and accelerate an opportunity towards achieving a goal, you can build a pathway and look for ways that you can leap to the end. They do exist. They're very hard to find. They're very hard to execute. Um, but if you at least set out looking for them and find them and take shots with them, um, you will see potentially that you quantum leap right to the success that you thought was going to take a few years in a few months. It is possible. Uh, but you need to put in the energy, you need to put in the time and, in and, and really looking at what are the ways, what are the things that I could do to accelerate the vision, the dream, the goal that I have and, and, and take a shot at doing it. It's not always going to work out. And sometimes you're going to discover it. It's going to be absolutely perfect. And you're like, oh, I'm going to do this. And then you do it and nothing happens. Nothing happens. Nobody cares. That's just, it's just the way the game goes. You know what I mean? Uh, but that should not deter you. Uh, and you should always be taking that shot. So always, always be out there looking for quantum leaps um, because it, it, it can and is possible. And it doesn't matter if you do it against a great plan or you do it all willy nilly and just take a shot into the unknown and have faith that it might take you to another level because they both could end up working. All right. Thank you, everyone for listening to the show i love you all i appreciate you all everyone that's ever liked or commented on anything subscribed you know to anything that we do i truly appreciate it as always like and subscribe wherever uh, you listen to this show um follow us on on, on social media uh, if you want to uh, potentially be on the show, you want to be a part of our machinist group, you just want to see what we got cooking at the Deerdick Machine, everything is at DeerdickMachine.com. And, and you know what it is. I just keep pushing, pushing towards the future. I just keep planning what that future could be and keep putting in everything I got to realize that future. Until we meet again, see it, believe it, do it. <laughs>